Completion tracking and content settings allow instructors to influence and observe how course materials are consumed. Completion tracking records which topics students have completed and provides progress indicators for students as they complete course activities. To set the completion method for completion tracking, open the context menu next to the table of contents heading. From here, select Set All Completion. Here we can choose the completion method to apply to all topics across all modules in the content tool. Automatic completion means that completion status will be set automatically. Topics that are documents will be set as complete once a user views the topic. Topics that are activities will be set as complete once the user performs the relevant action, for example, posting to a discussion, submitting a quiz, etc. Manual completion means that completion status is set by the user. Users can select the completion checkbox beside each content topic to indicate they have completed the topic. Note, although users can use manual tracking to indicate they have accomplished a task before it is completed, for example, selecting the completion checkbox beside a quiz activity before attempting the quiz at all, this does not affect assessment scores or user attempts counted towards an activity. You can also set the completion method for modules or topics on an individual basis. First navigate to the applicable module. Use the context menu next to the module heading to set the completion method for all topics within the module. To set the completion method for a particular topic, first select Edit Properties in Place from the context menu next to that topic. From the drop-down menu next to the checkmark icon, make your selection. Note, changing an automatically tracked topic to manual completion resets completion tracking for that topic. This means that users might have to return to the topic to mark it complete. Users do not need to resubmit files or assessment activities. The visual indicator next to the topic changes based on the completion method you choose. Completion tracking status for each student can be viewed from within a topic. Each topic contains a completion summary with student completion tracking results. To view completion tracking results for a topic, expand the completion summary located below the body of the topic. Here you can view each user's completion status for the topic and easily jump into student work directly from a learning activity. You can also hover over any student to view their profile card from which you can quickly contact the student, access their full profile, and access their overall progress in the course. You can change how course content appears in the content tool by selecting your viewing preferences in the content settings area. You can select from the content arrangement drop-down list how you want content listed. Selecting content type from the content arrangement menu will group together topics of similar type when viewing an individual module. You can also choose the default completion method for new topics. From the drag and drop upload section of the settings panel, select the checkbox labeled automatically update files that have the same file name if you want to automatically overwrite a module's existing content each time you drag and drop files of the same name and file type into the same module. You can also change default font settings. When you have made all of your changes, click Save. The content area for a student provides them with a read-only view. A progress bar is presented on the table of contents indicating their completion level across all topics. Within a specific module, the progress bar indicates completion progress of that module alone. The number beside each module name in the left sidebar 
indicates the number of topics not yet completed within that module. With completion tracking, a student's progression through the course is obvious, with a clear indication of progress, priorities, and tasks.